Hey guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com. Today I am so excited to share my holiday home tour with you guys and extra excited because this is our second My Seasonal Home home tour here on YouTube. So this is an open invite that my friend Lindy from Love, Create, Celebrate and myself put out for others to join us in sharing their homes as well. So I will link the playlist below and you can hop around and check out lots of homes decked out for the season. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. All right, so my Christmas home tour is basically of our main living space, our living room, dining room, entryway, and kitchen. And you can see our boys' bedroom in a separate blog post. I will link that below. And then I also have Aubrey's bedroom decked out for the holidays, and I'll link that blog post below as well. And then in our bedroom, I show so little because we are not done renovating it yet. Uh, you can see a sneak peek of what that looks like here, and I'll link that DIY below as well. So our main living area is open to one another, but it's kind of separated by the fireplace wall. So as you walk in the front door, it's a fairly narrow entryway. I shared a full before and after of this space a while ago on YouTube. And we have this storage bench here, and I have a letter board right above it. So I put, don't get your tinsel in a tangle this time around. It's kind of festive. And this is the only place that we have red in our holiday home. It's not that I don't like red. We just don't have a lot of it. And changing up letter boards or signs or chalkboards or things like that, and then also swapping in some seasonal throw pillows is one of my favorite ways to decorate for the holidays. It is super simple. And then I also swapped out my wreath here. I do that for every season as well. Oh, and do you notice there's two cute little kindness elves sitting on the windowsill there. Those uh, move around every day, but they were on the window the day I was taking photos for this home tour, so I left them because I think they're really cute. Through the entryway, you can see the living room there. I have already shared a full video on my Christmas tree, so I won't say too much about that. Basically, I keep it really simple with white and natural colors and then some silver sometimes. And every year I like to change it up a little bit with different colors. So I did a video sharing how I switch it up easily without spending a lot of money. And this year I added in some gold and some green ornaments. In the living room, again, Super simple, added some seasonal throw pillows. These ones are all from my store because when I was launching my store a couple years ago, it was the holidays. So every single one of my samples, I ordered with a holiday print. And then on the table, I have a little winter floral arrangement. You only need like three flowers. I just got those from the grocery store and then some pine that you could either cut from the backyard or I got a bundle at the grocery store and had more than I know what to do with. You'll see that later in my kitchen sink. Missing in this room is a lamp. My kid broke my lamp. So I have ordered a new one. I've ordered a wall sconce and I'm hoping that the lamp won't be broken. Um, in the living room as well, I have this console. I got this at HomeSense. It was such a good find. It stores all of our toys, all of our books, all of our diapers, and all of my plants on top. So I just added in this sweet little resting reindeer, and I was going to put garland around the mirror, but then the pine needles started dropping everywhere, and I just I couldn't handle the mess. So <laughs> scrapped that idea real quick and just threw all the pine in the sink which you can see when we turn this way. I am gonna do a full blog post about my mantle another day, so I'm gonna kinda of skip right over that, but I left it very much the same as what I have every other season of the year. I just swapped out my greenery, hung the stockings, and then swapped out the decor on the other side of the mantle. Other than the pine in the sink, which does look rather festive, but is not great when it comes to doing your dishes, I hung this frosted garland up over my bay window in the kitchen. I love how this frames in the area. It just makes it look so magical. One of these days I would love a flocked tree for our main Christmas tree, but until then I do have this tiny little cute flock tree in our dining room. And then I have this giant flocked wreath on our window here. And the sign in the middle there says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And that is of course a DIY. So I will link that down below as well. I used my Dremel to etch that into the wood and get past that dark stain. And I love how this one turned out. This is one of my favorite DIYs that I've ever made, I think. 
Also on the kitchen table is these sweet reindeer candle holders. And I've had these since I was a teenager. My very first job when I was like barely old enough to work was working for a family friend who owned a business and she would go over to India and bring back things to sell in her store. And I thought these were beautiful. So I bought them for myself and I've held on to them every, ever since. And we have lost that family friend. And so these are a special memory that I get to have every holiday. I have since added an activity advent calendar on the wall behind our dining table, this blank empty wall, and that is over on the blog. I can link that down below too, but it totally fills in the space and it's super fun. On the countertops there as well, I have another floral arrangement. This is again one that I made using grocery store florals. It was under $20 with the pine. So I love in the winter how you can throw branches in your floral arrangements and it fills them out beautifully and they look all festive and fun. So that is a overview of my Christmas decorations. This is my home. This is all that we do. I mean, I feel like it's a lot. It takes me a while to do, but it's really not that much. We are still in the keep stuff off the coffee table for the most part, hopefully not for much longer, phase of life and adding too many decorations just kind of stresses me out in this life stage. As for color, we tend to stick with neutrals, which we do in our regular decorating as well. On the Christmas tree, we'll see some hand-lettered ornaments, which is one of my favorite things on the tree. I love to do these up every year, and I have a full video on how to hand-letter those in three different ways, so I will link that down below as well. There's lots of hand-lettered DIY all over this house. <laughs> so you'll see that tiny little sign in the basket. That is one of the first times that I lettered on wood, and I made an entire blog post about it. Around that same time, I made this wood round with the Old Holy Night lyrics on it. I wood burned that in. It was my first time ever wood burning. And even though the lettering is totally not my style anymore, I still love that piece. I'd love to redo it one day with my new hand lettering on it. But for now, we'll just put this up every year and enjoy it. Don't forget to hop around and check out other homes in the My Seasonal Home Tour here on YouTube. I will link the playlist below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you next time. Come take a look at my home. I cleaned it just for you.